any event like this is extremely tragic uh, for the family as well as for the first responders. This is a heartbreaking story tonight out of Winthrop. A two-year-old girl is dead after an apparent medical emergency. Now, how that child died, it is still under investigation this evening, and that's something that we're going to continue to follow closely for you. But tonight, there's also another issue this tragedy is putting into sharp focus for us. The 911 call for a medical emergency, it came in at 1029 in the morning. The child arrived at the hospital at 1052 a.m. That is 23 minutes. Every one of those minutes, they mattered. But during this morning's trip to the hospital, the young girl was not in an ambulance. Instead, she was in the back of the fire chief's SUV. That's because there were no ambulances available. NBC 10's Malcolm Johnson joining us live with more on why that shortfall happened. Malcolm. Well, Colton, you kind of just talked about it. All of the town's emergency ambulances were occupied on other calls. And if just one of them had been available, that two-year-old toddler might still be alive. It's been a very tragic and uh, traumatic day here in Winthrop. A heartbreaking day in Winthrop after the fire chief rushed a two-year-old girl to Massachusetts General Hospital in his SUV. And the toddler died from a medical emergency. The chief says the closest ambulance was 20 minutes away, and he could drive to MGH in 10. Well, they made the decision to transfer both this child to Massachusetts General Hospital and the, um, the back of uh, the fire chief's vehicle. Two EMTs cared for the baby in the back seat, but it was too late. At 10.29, the call came in for a baby not breathing. Six minutes later, Action Ambulance reported no aid was available. CPR was in progress by 1042, and ambulances weren't en route until 14 minutes after the original call was made. First step up that ambulance wherever they're coming from. Dispatchers becoming anxious as they tried tracking down the emergency vehicle. We have calls into them for an ALS ASAP. They're at um, Melrose Wakefield. They're in route. Investigators say they do not suspect foul play or trauma took place. Any event like this is extremely tragic uh, for the family as well as for the first responders. The toddler was transported from the home of a former police lieutenant who is serving time charged in a child rape case. He's no longer a member of the Winter Police Department. Now, the community within this one and a half square mile peninsula will begin to heal. These are not easy conversations when you go home um, to have with your own children. Um, and certainly when you look at your children, it certainly brings you back. Uh, we've had too many of these in Winthrop in such a short period of time. Um, so whether, uh, I'm talking about tragedies in general. And this is certainly a tragic situation. I got a chance to speak with a neighbor, Colton. She was a mother herself. She was brought to tears when considering all that this mother is going through, having lost her daughter earlier today. Preliminary investigations, they suggest that the toddler had been sick in recent days. We're reporting in Winthrop. I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC 10 Boston. Difficult story there. Malcolm, thanks so much for your reporting for us tonight.